This is concentrated nitric acid. Really nasty stuff, especially when it's heated up. It'll dissolve practically all the metals from the circuit boards, but it won't affect the gold. In industry, they'd extract the silver and copper from this, but I've only got eyes for one thing, gold. But it still leaves us with the problem of separating the gold from all the undissolvable rubbish that's in circuit boards. Which means, unfortunately, we're now going to have to dissolve the gold. It sounds like a gamble, but I'm hoping it'll pay off in the end. Because gold is so unreactive, I'm going to need some really powerful acid to dissolve it. This is way beyond school chemistry. I'm making up what medieval alchemists called aqua regia, or royal water. It's a mix of very concentrated and strong acids, strong enough even to dissolve gold. If I get it right, it shouldn't affect the other stuff the gold is mixed up with, but it would happily burn right through my skin, given the chance. A lot of mining processes involve some pretty nasty chemistry. This is uh, about as noxious as it gets for me. With a bit of added heat, all that gold I've worked so hard to get starts to vanish. If I don't get the next stage of the recipe right, it could be gone forever. Can you look at that uh, dirty black liquid I've just made? It's difficult to be confident that it's full of gold. It's a bit of a leap of faith. Another few minutes of stirring at gas mark four, and we're done. Now I've dissolved my gold into a liquid, all I need to do is pour it through a filter to separate the gunk from the good stuff. I'm not sure about this. I seem to have made pure green, not gold. No matter. I shall keep following the recipe, add a pinch of urea. Quite lively. Now comes the chef's secret ingredient. What I'm about to do here is pretty much the alchemist's dream. I'm going to make pure gold appear from something that isn't gold. This is sodium metabisulfite, not an everyday compound for folk like me, but uh, chemists use it quite a lot. What it's going to do, effectively, is add a couple of electrons to that gold to turn it back to gold metal. Ooh. In it goes. Give that a good stir. I'm still not seeing any gold. I'm going to need more sodium metabisulfite, lots more. Time to start getting a bit more freeform with the quantities. <laughs> a little bit of gold panning later, and I've reduced all the gold from my pile of circuit boards to this. OK, I've got myself uh, my gold mud. At the moment, it looks a bit brown and uninspiring. Let's see what happens when I put a flame to it. Or perhaps two. Now, I'm not going to lie to you, I don't hold out much hope for whatever is left in that tiny crucible. But there is one thing that should survive. There it is. From a bunch of obsolete old electronics, add yourself some potentially lethal chemicals, hit it with over a 1,000 degrees of heat, and you end up with one of those, a nugget of pure gold.